Hello everybody. Hello YouTube. Hello art history enthusiasts and visual culture aficionados. It's me again, Miss M, and I'm back with yet another video. And before we get started, here you are. Here you are at the Object of Art. I start off every video at my homepage just so that you know you're in the right place. And every video I start off, I try to get church announcements out of the way. So, so you don't have to wait until the end to hear this. If you're enjoying this, please do like, comment, subscribe, share the video if you know somebody who might enjoy this material. Um, and if you don't like the video, go ahead and hit the dislike button. And let me know what I did wrong too in the comments. But, um, <laughs> now that we got that out of the way, um, today it's not a, it's not a coffee video. Um, it's not a crime video. It's not a shining video. It's not an exorcist video. It's not a Hunter Biden video. No, but it's an art talk video. It's an art. Did I say not an art talk? I don't care. Uh, it, it is an art talk video today that I'll try to keep under 20 minutes, preferably under 15. We shall see. We shall see. And... But before I get started, uh, returning viewers, thank you for coming back. New viewers, thank you for being new. Hope you stick around. Um, so we got some, we got some tea today. Tea today. Oh, some tea. Some gnarly, 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 cloudy ass tea. But it's still pretty good. It's still pretty good. Um, again, somebody pointed me in the direction of this, this, <laughs> article you guys financial crimes news oh my god oh my god <clears throat> when i saw this i said really really um palm beach gallery owner charged with peddling <laughs> fake art pieces this is from may 31st so pretty recent and here is the statue of good old justice there she is you know blindfolded and impartial allegedly Anyway, a Palm Beach gallery owner has been arrested on federal charges for peddling fake art pieces, claiming the cheap reproductions were in fact originals by Andy Warhol, Banksy, there he goes again. It's really easy to fake his stuff because nobody knows who he really is. His, that anonymity, though, that anonymity, that's a double-edged sword now, isn't it? He's used it to make just loads and loads and loads of money. But, you know, other people can do it too. And, yes, I mean, do you see how this is working? You know, how, how in the case of, you know, this guy they caught. But there are probably plenty of others out there. There probably are. I wouldn't be surprised if there are plenty of other uh, unscrupulous people out there peddling counterfeit Banksy's. Wouldn't that be something? Anyway, uh, originals in uh, reproductions were in, claiming the cheap reproductions were in fact originals by Andy Warhol, Banksy, Roy Lichtenstein, and he, there he goes again too, Jean Michel Basquiat, very conveniently dead for these criminals who are using his artwork, and others. Federal prosecutors said a complaint, a complaint filed in the South Florida federal court Thursday accuses art dealer Daniel El Boisiz of mail fraud, wire fraud, and money laundering in his alleged scheme to sell forged copies of high-end art. And of course, I'm going to leave this article for you to read uh, for yourself in your own time. But my goodness, my goodness, when you read this article, as I did, you will, you might laugh. You might laugh, not at just the absurdity of the situation, but the fact that people, the people that he was selling these to, fell for this shit. You know, they should have, they should have, they should have known. I'm sorry, that's how I feel. They should have known that this guy was a shyster, selling them fake, um, Warhols and Basquiat's and Banksy's and you know just because I don't like Banksy doesn't mean I think that crime should be committed using his work because my goodness you you already know how I feel about that I think that his work yes this is what I feel this is my opinion I think that his work is created solely for the purpose 
of, of committing all kinds of fraud. But that's neither here nor there. You know, um, the FBI, though, they are on the case, thank God. Uh, an FBI criminal affidavit said undercover agents, you never know who you're dealing with, undercover agents put $22 million down for several of the fake pieces. And, okay, first of all, his customers, either they're completely and totally naive or they're not. I'll say that again. This guy, Boaziz, his customers are either complete dum-dums or they're not. Either they're his, Boaziz's victims or maybe he's their victim. Think about that for a minute. But anyway, the FBI came in with undercover agents posing as customers, I guess. Ah, oh, and they got him. They got, I don't know how they got him or why they got him. Who tipped him off? Who said, who told? I mean, the FBI isn't going to show up unless somebody files some kind of complaint and presents evidence of some kind of crime being committed this time, you know, financial in nature. So who who, who did he piss off? <laughs> this Boisee's person. Did he get too big for his britches and, you know, piss somebody the, the hell off? And, and they say, okay, that's it. We're calling the FBI. <laughs> you, you forget you. Here comes the FBI. So anyway, go ahead and read through this article. It's pretty good. He operated not one but two art galleries on Palm Beach's famed Worth Avenue, <clears throat> one of the wealthiest places in the U.S. Oh. This is how he did it, too. I said I wasn't going to read the whole thing, and I'm not, but, you know, Boisee's purchased low-cost reproductions from online auction sites that he then resold to un... I, I think they should put quotation marks around this word unsuspecting and around the word victims for that matter. Resold to unsuspecting victims as originals at drastically increased prices. Listen. See, see, see why my bullshit, um, Geiger counter is just going crazy. All right. Boisees, according to the FBI, sold one of Warhol's works called Superman, of which there were several versions for just $25,000. Just $25,000. So that tells me that whoever bought these things has the money to spend to, 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 you know, maybe to super rich people, $25,000 isn't much money. To you and me, ordinary people, $25,000 is a lot. You can, I don't know if you can buy a car in today's economy. I don't know if you can buy a car for $25,000, but you can buy something for $25,000. And again, if this is people who have an extra $25,000 lying around, okay, if they have a disposable uh, income that allows them to spend a disposable $25,000. Okay, that means these people have some money to spend on shit like this. And I don't believe that somebody is going to spend $25,000 on what's essentially a, a piece of paper, you know, a print with an, with any artist's work printed on it. They're not going to, nobody's going to spend that kind of money without checking to see whether or not the shit's authentic. You know, I'm, I suppose he could forge or, or fra you know, uh, fraudulently create a certificate of authenticity and all that, all that stuff that art dealers uh, use to legitimize whatever it is that they're doing. Um, you know, I guess it, you, you could have it appraised, right? Whatever. But something doesn't make sense to me. People think that rich people are stupid. You know, if you have 25,000 extra dollars lying around and you decide to blow it on basically a poster, a print, listen, you, people, everybody thinks that rich people are absolutely just ridiculously stupid. That, I, I, I don't understand why, but they do. A lot of people like to console themselves. 
um, because they're not rich by, by telling themselves that, oh no, rich people are just a bunch of dummies and they just throw money around like, you know, like it's water and they, they spend their money on shit like this because they don't know any better and you don't get to be that rich by being stupid. You don't. Even if it's inherited wealth, these people have really pretty good educations. And even if they themselves are not very bright, they're surrounded by people who are bright, who take care of them, namely lawyers. Okay. And they have access. Their money can buy them access to people who can handle their affairs for them. All right. And, and check up on shit like this, whether or not something really is worth $25,000, even if it's you know, oh. even if it seems cheap, I don't know. Anyway, uh, doesn't say how many people were victimized. He gave a plea hearing. No trial date has been scheduled. His temporary attorney did not immediately respond to an email seeking comment. Well, 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 of course he didn't because he doesn't know what's going on yet. He's trying to figure out, like, who's who's this guy, the fall guy for. Anyway, you guys, that's my art talk for today. Uh, don't, you know, when you read articles like this, it, what, what I'm telling you to do is read between the lines. They can't tell you everything. And even if they did tell you everything, would you really understand it? Um, you're not a lawyer. You're not an FBI agent. You're not an art dealer. Unless you are, then, you know, um, apologies. But... Something ain't right about this story. Something ain't right about this story. You know, he's being charged with money laundering. Is, is, is that what I read? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mail fraud, wire fraud, and money laundering. Good heavens. Okay. All right, you guys. So once again, um, thank you for watching the video. I appreciate it so much. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share. Hit the dislike button if you don't like it. Tell me what I did wrong in the comments and so on and so forth, and etc. and etc. So, until next time, when I find yet another reason to talk at you in an art talk video, coffee talk video, or any of the other types of videos that I do, uh, I'm going to go ahead and bid you bye-bye. So, bye-bye, everybody. <laughs>